There is a subsection of anime fans who are constantly motivated by everything they watch in anime. Naruto wanting to be Hokage is motivational, cute girls playing the guitar is motivational, Saitama doing push-ups is motivational. Solo leveling has its own share of pseudo-gym rats, that is, people who act like they are always hitting the gym because they get motivated by the anime they watch. Which is not a bad thing as long as they don't berate anyone who doesn't do what they pretend to do. And guess what? They do. Here is a review by one of those pseudo-gym rats. The MC backstory hits hard to people like me who seek growth. I don't think lazy people will like his monologue. Hey, get it? It's for gym rats. It's not for lazy people who don't want to grow up. MC age is 24, meaning he's not shonen. He doesn't need that slow character development. See, this show is for adults and not children, because the MC is in his 20s. Son Goku in Dragon Ball is in his 50s, and his fandom is still all about power levels and hair colors. Also, solo leveling doesn't need slow character development, because adults snap their fingers and get as strong as they like. Finally, an MC who won't waste my time like other generic blah blah training arc with a mentor, let's save my friends! See, this show is for adults who don't waste their time training with someone else. Because there is no such thing as a fitness trainer, real chats don't need someone to help them out. Also, they won't give a shit about their friends. They will just be spending all their time at the gym, all alone. This anime is meant for a certain type of audience who won't need a lot of words and feelings. Yes, solo leveling is not for people who have emotions. It's for chads who don't feel a thing about other people. Also, it totally does not spend half its runtime in people talking about the most basic RPG mechanics you can think of. It's completely different from other shonen that spend half their time in characters talking about their feelings. All this nonsense aside, how the shit would a person with average intelligence believe even for five minutes that this show is motivating you to get stronger by hitting the gym? Nobody can level up in this show, the only exception is the protagonist, and even he levels up way too fast because he's a special chosen one. If there is a message in this bullshit, it's not hit the gym so you will get stronger, it's actually the opposite of that. If you are not a special chosen one, don't even bother to train, because you will never get stronger and you will never win. How self-absorbed and self-entitled do you need to be in order to think a lazily written power fantasy has any relation with how the real world functions? And what kind of a moron would be inspired by a self-insert special chosen one who levels up like crazy and who all women want to have his babies just because he trains? Thinking that this is better than any average shonen protagonist who learns important life lessons from an older mentor and who wants to help his friends. But then again, we are talking about solo leveling fanboys. They think they are superior than you because they don't need a mentor, they don't need friends, they don't need emotions, and they don't need to actually train for years so they can have a well built body because they are adults, not children like the rest of you.